in range. We're gonna wait a bit. We are not gonna fire this missile at max range. We are going to close with the guy and fire within 10 if we can. But preferably we are... Preferably we are going to wait and uh, try and fire within at least 10. Or we could just do it now because the plane tells us to shoot her fox free. Oh yeah, there's so many missiles on the server that cracking mine is going to be a fool's errand. I hope I don't fire on anything important now, but I can't actually see any. I can't actually see anything airborne. Ambush shooter designated track has been destroyed. Looks like it was a bomber or a transport or something. But we won't need. Please say again. One three eight copies. Looks like we downed the Russian VIP transport. Nice! Let's retrim the aircraft to compensate for the missile. And I have what appears to be flankers 12 o'clock. Which is probably going to be a bit more tricky target. Reduce my radar to 40, so I do not accidentally lock up the people doing playtime over here. Um, if push comes to shove, I can move and try and help them out. But as it stands right now, I should be trying more on. In fact, we are going to make sure the yeah, or good. We'll need to stay more on heading 138, I think. And check radar contact. No radar contact so far, but we'll keep on that course and most likely we'll have to pass by the... Uh, good people that are currently engaging ground targets. But we also need to watch our playtime. I'm gonna let it go to one third before I'm going to declare bingo. It's kind of funny, we have like two fuel tanks and I have to wonder if I've even connected them. Radar is, radar is clear, but I do tally... I do have... Something that could be a... Yeah, I think that what that Harrier is actually pursuing is uh, an enemy fighter. Because that Harrier is following something. Children responding to call about enemies close to Sochi. I think we need to do a more of a turn towards Sochi to engage 
Find and engage the target. Yeah. Should have got a visual on con trailer over Sochi. Let's see if we can't get... Let's just get a lock on the bus. And we should be good. Increasing speed and... God damn it, bandit. Overlord, three, three, two. Request bogey dope. I don't want that Harrier in my in my battle zone right now. Because that is going to be tricky if uh, I have to, if I have to do mad dog on this. Because I think that uh, flanker might just Oh, there's, al there's also a uh, Hornet that has fired on the guy. I think that might be the reason why he turned so defensive. Let's just hope that Hornet doesn't shoot at me. Because that have happened. I Overlord, three, three, two. Request bogey dope. All right, so let's look like the Hornet took care of it. We'll be proceeding down the coast. Tracking. 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 Missile, missile. I have no missile, idea if that missile, missile warning is for missile. us, but I'm going defensive either way. It's kind of difficult when I don't know where, from where the missile is supposed to be coming. Try. That are we are for thirty. Well, at least we're close to Sochi if we need the pancake. Also. Copy, 114 for 18. Secondary 1, 2, 1 for 17, also on the deck, so... That was on the deck, so it's probably... Yeah. God damn it, I had... Come on, just give me that radar lock back. Got him. Judah Fox Free. Tracking. 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 Flash. Let's go for the second. See if we can get a lock on the next one. In ring, shoot. Box free. He's low, very low. I think he shaked it or hit the ground. Overlord, 
Alright, there might be a- oh, fuck. That was a team kill. We killed one of our very competent helicopter drivers. Ah, fuck me. That is going to leave a mark. Yeah, we kind of failed on the IFF part. Shooter ambush, what's your fuel in Norman? Shooter, one radar, two heat, uh, fuel about 50%. Copy, go ahead and retrograde to what airport would you prefer? Shooter will pancake, so cheap. Yeah, Roger, I... Roger, for Sochi. Copy that, thank you. Yeah, that, w that was not one of my proudest moments. I basically felt that just because I had a radar lock meant that it was hostile. I didn't expect... Even though I checked the... Um, the... Uh, F-10 map, I didn't expect me to lock up a helicopter. And I certainly did not expect to lock up a friendly helicopter. But then, I'm going to... This is not an excuse, by the way. What I'm going to say is not an excuse. I did wrong. I want to make that perfectly clear that I fucked up. And, um... But, uh, I'm not really used to using... RVR missiles. I'm a, I'm a vegan driver at heart. And for about one year, I didn't even have... I didn't do much BVR combat. I'm pretty used to just going up to the guy and looking him in the butthole, as it were, and uh, just firing the missile. That is what I'm used to doing. So, I'm going to... Just uh, ask for your understanding, if not your forgiveness. Uh, and like I said, the the um, the helicopter driver was claiming that that SU-27 was going to have him anyway. But the thing is, I just shot down that SU-27, if I'm not entirely mistaken. So, I basically saved the guy and then I doomed him all over again. So... That kind of sucks, because I, I felt I was doing so good, too. I was like, yeah, the GCI is really leading me on target. The GCI is uh, also very competent and everything like that. And then I go and fuck it up. Ah, fuck. So, out of two missiles, we managed to score one VIP transport, one SU-27, and our own poor helicopter. Going to be a very interesting, uh, very interesting, um, after action report. Let's see how the traffic is at Sochi. Uh, currently we have one, yeah, we have major catastrophe. Uh, I'm going to try not to shoot him down again. Uh, I, I'm not sure if I'm done for the day. We have like 30 minutes left on the server, so I'm actually considering just landing, refueling, and getting back at it. And uh, this time, actually, you know, flying ahead of uh, the helicopter. So we're going to check the F-10 map. Uh, And uh, we are... Uh, one of the annoying things about the uh, Jeff is that I can't actually go into sub... Uh, into, um, like, 249-500, which, which is the ATC channel. So, well, we have the helicopter there at any rate, so um, 
I'm going to uh, land Sochi, going to get more ornaments, and uh, then I'm going to protect that helicopter. That is, land that'll have, that'll have to be my penance. Gear. Oh fuck, my airspeed was too high. Landing gear. Landing gear. With airspeed that high. Landing gear. Overlord, three, three, Landing two. Gear. Request bogey dope. Yeah, so I messed up twice in a day here. Those landing gear are not going to uh, carry me onto the runway. Navigation. Buster arm. Jeff's wife doesn't like my altitude. Probably doesn't like my attitude either, for that matter. Eh? Eh? Nah. Either way, so far we haven't really had a Jeff flight that has gone to plan. So why should this be any different? Third time is not the charm in this case. We didn't actually do this, but, uh, I mean, th th for a belly landing, this is not half bad. I mean, I've seen far worse belly landings than this. Uh, we should have ejected the pod, though. We shouldn't have... Yeah, let that set the tone for the rest. You know of the day. how you in a dogfight don't really know the entire story. Well, when the helicopter driver I accidentally fired at told me that um, it's okay, this Su-27 is going to kill me anyway. Just watch what happens here. Because this, this is good. This is good in every sense of the word. Here we have me being vectored in against the at least one target. I knew that there were more than one. And I had three locks on my radar. And we have the first lock right there. That's the first kill. That's an SU-27 down. Nice. So, what's happening here is that this SU-27 is going for the helicopter driver. So we are going to um, actually, if we can do that, uh, zoom in on the helicopter driver. Here's the helicopter driver trying to get out of dodge as quickly as possible. Here's an R-76 that hits the guy, so uh, most likely it's already on its way down. And um, you can even see it. And here comes my missile. My missile hits the guy the second before he hits the ground. And just to make things even funnier. Just to make things even funnier. So, I'm not going to excuse myself because it was still my bad. I had still locked up this, this Huey. And I shouldn't have. But at the same time, the contact I really should have been firing at was closing really fast with the guys, so, I mean, 
for all I know, I might have actually locked up the SU-27 and, and the missile then went, oh god, please, please don't tell me that's what happened. No, it wasn't. Uh, I was worried there that the missile would have gone pitbull and would have hit him because of that. But that was not what happened. That was not what happened. But still, the SU-27 then basically just goes into the water. And, I mean, this, this, this is just absolutely funny. Um, it, this is just funny in every sense of the word. Here we have first missile, fine. And then we have this guy going down. And I mean, I'm, I'm specifically talking here that the missile is literally hitting him the second. The literal second before he... It actually doesn't even look like the missile. We're gonna see how f how much we can slow this down. While the missile is actually heading for the helicopter, uh, the fact that I even got the kill here is absolutely insane, because I shouldn't have. They basically just said that, oh, wait, you you are... This is just insane! How the fuck did this come to be? It's just, just absolutely insane. I mean, it doesn't absolve me of liability, but at least it, it meant that he was on his way down either way. And then I didn't get the second SU-27 because that fucking bastard decided to just take a dip in the lake.